Okay, YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I've got a Ty Dolla Sign album review for you, and this is Free TC. Now, this may seem strange that I'm reviewing this a year late, but I think that this album stands pretty strong right now, and I think the anticipation continues for his next release. But the main thing here is, is that this record does is pretty chock full of hits. So a little bit of backdrop on this guy as he is affiliated with Wiz Khalifa's Taylor Gang Records. He's probably one of the bigger artists on there between him and Juicy J. And they have dropped a Taylor Gang mixtape that came out and I'll probably review that. But thing is, is he is kind of similar to Future. He He's more of a singer than a rapper. And if you were to take someone like Chris Brown and mix it with Future and then add like a DJ Mustard style of production, that's about the mantra of what you're getting. So that style of rap music that you probably started hearing around late 2014 or so that, you know, maybe I'm thinking it's called like the Ratchet style of music that was pretty prevalent in 2015. And this guy was one of the ones that was the forefront of that style. So, it's pretty effective. I mean, really, the thing is, is the, the, the number of cuts that sound similar to this type of style that you may have heard, he doesn't let this style carry him, and he doesn't coast on it either. So, he had had singles off his EP, that was such an EP that had some good songs on it, like Paranoid and Orna. And both of these charted on the Billboard. And he signed to Wiz Khalifa back in 2013. So we got this. We got the EP in 2014. That lasted him out throughout the year, and then that led to this album. So before that, it was mixtapes and... This album, some people will say, is not as effective as the Beach House EP just because it didn't chart as high, but I think it's more of a concentrated style on this and you just get the more understanding of what he's about versus just five, six, seven songs before. So, the two singles that charted the highest were Saved and Blase and... Uh, Blase is one of the abs. That's one of the best songs on here. You're gonna find some guests on here also. Wiz Khalifa shows up. Fetty Wap is on here. Trey Songs is on here. Future is on here. Seven Streeter is on here. E40 is on here. There's pretty good cast of characters and. So that kind of describes some of the stuff, so... Alright, I'm gonna... I guess I'll talk about the single. So Save was one of those songs that I was talking about. That one, I think it's... That one is produced by DJ Mustard. And between that song and Bring It Out Of Me, those are the two ones that sound the most rap-esque and outgoing. But I also think, you know, he tries some darker styles... Some more shadier and moodier type music with yeah the moodier songs are know ya and when i see ya and there are some surprises on here i mean i, I definitely feel like i wasn't expecting him to team up with jagged edge and i think maybe baby face is on here i can't remember but he does team up with some R&B artists. You know, I haven't mentioned R. Kelly a ton, but I do appreciate his music, and he does show up on here. And that's a good song, Actress. I'm going to list the ten songs that are the best, that the ones that you need to go for. So they are Saved, Straight Up, Horses in the Stable, Know Ya, Sittin' Pretty, When I See Ya, Blase, Only Right, Bring it out of me, an actress. So, all of these are good ones to go for. 
I think really the best part is listening to it fully versus trying to find the best songs first. I mean, you can go for the singles, but this is an album that you don't have to worry about as much as to whether or not, you know, the the most heard and the most popular songs are necessarily the best ones. It helps, you know, it does help to pick out those songs, but it's, it doesn't feel as necessary on this project. Plus, the singing is pretty hypnotizing, so it's good stuff. So I'm going to give this album, because I like 10 out of 16, I'm going to give this album a 7 out of 10. And probably if it just had been like two or so more songs, I probably would have given it like a 9 or so. But yeah, 10 out of 16 is basically a 7, and... The social score, because this album did have, I think, six singles. I looked it up. So I will give the social score about a seven also. And this means how well it plays around your friends. So lots of, pro lots of promotion. Big house party type project. It just feels like, you know, everybody's here. So that's, yeah, that's yet another reason to enjoy this. And can this record be topped? I think the answer is is maybe just a hair. And as far as the future is what Ty Dolla Sign has been up to, I'm going to say I think he's working on his next album. So it should be interesting to see how he's going to further his career. You know, sometimes if your first project is really good, you know, that kind of apes your chances of ever besting it. And I would like to see that that's not the case with Ty Dolla Sign, because it feels like, you know, some folks out there may say, you know, his EP is still his best project, and they may continue to say that when he's on, like, his third and fourth album, which can be frustrating. So, let's, you know, let's fight for the idea of that not happening.